The prophets have spoken, friends. The dragon's return is nigh. Join the honorable duke's ranks and help us be rid of the fell beast. The day's come to lay down rod and reel and take up the sword. All right, guys. What's up? Oh, shit. Guess it was that quick. But anyway, what's up, guys? Um, as you guys can see, this is a uh, Dragon's Dogma here. I started a new game, uh, not because I needed to, but I just felt like playing something a little bit different, um, a little bit, you know, medieval. <laughs> and uh, since I finished, I finished up with Dark Souls. It's kind of I didn't really have nothing to play. I wasn't going to jump back in the Skyrim but because I was watching my brother play it, but I just, I played the hell out of Skyrim when that came out. Um, so there's nothing really new for me to do except the DLC, and I would have to start a whole new character on that, and I wasn't really, you know, I'm not really feeling starting a new character on that. <laughs> so, I figured I'd pop this in. I was going to continue my game where I left off. But uh, since I pretty much, I wasn't really going to try dungeon running or anything like that with Bitter Black, but I just felt like replaying the game. I wanted to keep my stuff, but then I was like, well, I could do New Game Plus, but then having all the better, the bigger and better gear kind of, to me anyway, kind of takes the enjoyment out of, you know, playing the game by itself. Um you know, like, if I start a new game with higher gear, it's like I'm, I'm just going to be cakewalking half the game. So, um, you know, not really going to be much challenge in that. So, I started a new character, as you can see, made my guy a little bit different. Um, I'm going to probably be a straight strider. This time out, I'm not going to be changing vocations on that because I loved that counter and how that played out. So, I love the hell out of that. So, I'm going to be sticking with that all the way through. Um, you know, for however many videos I make it as, um, and plus I put it on hard, and I didn't realize how hard it was going to be, <laughs> I must have played the little intro scene where you play the previous Arisen, probably like five, six times trying to beat it, because you take tons more damage in this, and hard than you did on normal, so... I don't know how I'm going to play it. I'm going to try to play it with just, um, you know, just to change things up a little bit. Um, I know in my first game, I pretty much rolled with high-level pawns for the most part. That kind of made things a little bit easier. But, but with this, I'm just going to try to roll with myself and the pawn I make. Um, you know, I'm not going to pick anybody else's pawn or anything like that.
but I'm just going to jump into it. Um, I don't really know how far I'm going to take this. I mean, I don't mind playing it if, you know, if, if you guys like it, but I know I'm not doing this for views. I'm just doing this because I'm bored with playing the games that I'm playing currently. I know I'm going to finish up probably Watch Dogs, uh, Wolfenstein, and... Um, couple other games I'm playing right now, you know, within the week, so I need something to play until Destiny comes out, because I already pre-ordered that for both my friend, of, um, uh, for both a friend of mine and myself. Um, so until that comes out, I don't have there's no no big games coming out or nothing really I'm looking forward to, um, unless you guys know of any suggestions of any games that you know you guys might want me to do. So I figured this is something I could just pick back up. I know a lot of people liked liked my Dragon's Dog uh, Let's Play when I played it through the first time. Um, I know looking back on it, I don't know particularly why, but I know tons of people hit me up about it and left comments on videos saying how much they liked it and everything like that. So I figured why not pop this in, play a different class, and you know have some fun with it. So I think if I remember right, I had to uh, choose a class here. Strider all day, every day, because that counter was sick. Let's see. Ah, uh, that's where I first where I fought. I got I, I got to prior level it all up first. I can't even use it right now. You know that's the first thing I'm getting, right? I'm just saying that counter. First thing I'm getting. already gone mad for fear of this dragon. Won't no good come of this. I must go see to the others, Kina. Tell me if aught changes here. All right. Mm-hmm. Talking behind my back, huh, bitch? I kind of remember the beginning of the game. Um, I know there's a, a few quests and stuff that I can do. Um, however, I know in my last last way, I, um, I know I didn't complete everything. And I, and I know I'm probably not going to complete everything here, especially if it's on hard. Because if the whole game is like how I played that intro part, where it was like, I, I couldn't even fight the Chimera. I had to let my people handle that. Because it was it was too strong. It would like kill me in one hit. <laughs> so either I gotta do some power leveling or you know ground out some levels, or um, if the big you no, know, because the whole game is gonna be hard. It's it, it's this is this is gonna be difficult, especially with just myself and you know my pawn. So I'm gonna try to play. Um, I know for the most part, mostly when I play games like this, I'll pick I'll pick what I like, and then you know then I'll just jump in balls deep and just start swinging and hacking and slashing and stuff. But if it's hard where everybody can kill you in one or two hits, um, I'm probably gonna have to play more strategically when I play it. So that means you know posting up on you know on terrain rocks, you you know actually using the bow and arrow like it's supposed to when picking off people before I get to them, you know things like that. Um, I gotta. I'm going to probably do that. I know every time I look at my guy, when I was making him in the character thing, I was like, I pretty much didn't choose the same stuff. Um, I was actually trying to give him like a lighter skin tone, but I gave him scars. Um, I wasn't trying to make the same person. Um, that's why I gave him different hair, different color hair and stuff like that. And then when I made him, right, the reason I darkened his skin, I, uh, I made him, right, I gave him like white people's skin at first. No offense, but you know. And um, and I was like, damn, my guy looks deaf, you know, looks like Deathstroke with three stars on his face. <laughs> so, so I kind of changed up and gave him darker skin a little bit. All right, let me just accept all of these. Cause that intro part was hard as hell. I mean, even 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 bitch ass goblins was killing me. You know, I just ran in there swinging, not knowing it was gonna make a difference, and plus it wouldn't let me save either. 
Um, 